It's the BC Liberal Scandal List Countdown Minute, brought to you by The Breaker.News. I'm Bob Mackin. BC Liberals giveth, BC Liberals taketh away. In the February 2016 budget, Finance Minister Mike Dion gave BC's 100,000 disability assistance recipients a $77 a month raise and took away their $45 a year bus passes. He began charging them $52 a month and called it freedom of choice. For those who need to get to the doctor or school, that meant they only had an extra $25 a month in their pocket in a province where housing affordability is in a crisis. Advocates for the 55,000 people who relied on the bus passes were furious. In June, the government cancelled the $45 a year fee, but didn't back down on the monthly charge. Ironically, Brazilian taxpayers subsidized Stillwell's bus pass while she won two gold medals in wheelchair racing at the Rio 2016 Paralympics. In the 2017 budget, the Liberals increased payments by $50 a month to $1,000, but BC continued to trail Alberta, where the rate is close to $1,600 a month. BC's government is Canada's only without a poverty reduction plan. Meanwhile, the government spent millions of dollars in a pre-election ad campaign to rescue the image of the Liberal Party. Documents showed that, during Phase 1, the Liberals spent more to buy a 30-second ad on global TV than they did on a disabled person for an entire month. Propaganda before people, that's part of the BC Liberals' dark past. Music